Bolivia crisis, Evo Morales says he fled as life was at risk. Evo Morales resigned as president of Bolivia on Sunday amid protests over alleged election fraud. Former Bolivian president Evo Morales has arrived in Mexico City saying he asked for asylum because his life was in danger. Mr. Morales resigned on Sunday after weeks of protests over a disputed presidential election result. The Mexican jet carrying him landed at an airport in Mexico City, where he gave a brief press conference. Mr. Morales said he was forced to stand down but did so willingly, so there would be no more bloodshed. While I have life I'll stay in politics, the fight continues, all of the people of the world have the right to free themselves from discrimination and humiliation, he said. Mexico's Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard said Mr. Morales had arrived, safely, in the country, tweeting a picture of the jet that carried him. The above news from BBC, all clips may not match the story. Watch to learn English the way you've learned your mother tongue as this video is specially made. The following biography from Wikipedia. Juan Evo Morales Amer was born on 26 October 1959. He is a Bolivian politician and former Cocalero activist who served as the 80th president of Bolivia from 2006 to 2019. Widely regarded as the country's first president to come from the indigenous population, his administration focused on the implementation of leftist policies, poverty reduction, and combating the influence of the United States and multinational corporations in Bolivia. A socialist, he is the head of the Movement for Socialism Mass Party. On November 10, 2019, he resigned amidst significant unrest after the military issued an ultimatum demanding his resignation in the wake of a report by the Organization of American States alleging his government had rigged the year's elections. Morales, along with the governments of Mexico, Cuba, Nicaragua and the Venezuelan government of Nicolás Maduro, maintain that his removal was a military coup. On 12 November 2019 Morales flew to Mexico aboard a Mexican Air Force plane, after having accepted the foreign minister's offer of asylum. He was born to an Aymara family of subsistence farmers in Isalawi, Orinoco Canton. Morales undertook a basic education before mandatory military service, in 1978 moving to Chapare province. Growing coca and becoming a trade unionist, he rose to prominence in the Campesino Rural Laborers Union. In that capacity he campaigned against U.S. and Bolivian attempts to eradicate coca as part of the war on drugs, denouncing these as an imperialist violation of indigenous Andean culture. His involvement in anti-government direct action protests resulted in multiple arrests. Morales entered electoral politics in 1995, became the leader of the MAS and was elected to Congress in 1997. Coupled with populist rhetoric, his campaign focused on issues affecting indigenous and poor communities, advocating land reform and the redistribution of gas wealth. He gained increased visibility through the Cohabamba protests and gas conflict. In 2002 he was expelled from Congress for encouraging anti-government protesters, although he came second in that year's presidential election. Once elected in 2005, Morales increased taxation on the hydrocarbon industry to bolster social spending, emphasizing projects to combat illiteracy, poverty, racism, and sexism. Vocally criticizing neoliberalism and reducing Bolivia's dependence on the World Bank and International Monetary Fund, his administration oversaw strong economic growth while following a policy termed Evonomics, which sought to move from a liberal economic approach to a mixed economy. Scaling back U.S. influence in the country, he built relationships with leftist governments in the Latin American Pink Tide and signed Bolivia into the Bolivarian Alliance for the Americas. Attempting to moderate the left indigenous activist community, his administration also opposed the right-wing autonomous demands of Bolivia's eastern provinces. Winning a recall referendum in 2008, he instituted a new constitution that established Bolivia as a plurinational state and was re-elected in 2009. 
His second term witnessed the continuation of leftist policies and Bolivia's joining of the Bank of the South and Community of Latin American and Caribbean States. He was again re elected in the 2014 and again in the 2019 general elections, but was deposed in a military coup shortly thereafter. Morales has been praised for significantly reducing poverty and illiteracy in Bolivia and has been internationally decorated with various awards. His supporters have lauded him as a champion of indigenous rights, anti-imperialism, and environmentalism. Alternately, a number of leftist, indigenous, and environmentalist critics have accused him of failing to live up to many of his espoused values, while right-wing opponents have accused him of being excessively radical and authoritarian and claimed that his defense of coca contributes to illegal cocaine production. Morales was born in the small rural village of Isalawi in Orinoca Canton, part of Western Bolivia's Aurora Department, on October 26, 1959 to a family from the indigenous Aymara people. One of seven children born to Dionisio Morales Choke and his wife Maria Ama Mamani, only he and two siblings, Esther and Hugo, survived past childhood. His mother almost died from a postpartum hemorrhage following his birth. In keeping with Aymara custom, his father buried the placenta produced after his birth in a place specially chosen for the occasion. His childhood home was a traditional adobe house, and he grew up speaking the Aymara language, although later commentators would remark that by the time he had become president he was no longer an entirely fluent speaker. Morales's family were farmers, from an early age, he helped them to plant and harvest crops and guard their herd of llamas and sheep, taking a homemade soccer ball to amuse himself. As a toddler, he briefly attended Orinoca's preparatory school, and at five began schooling at the single-room primary school in Isalawi. Aged six, he spent six months in northern Argentina with his sister and father. There, Dionisio harvested sugar cane while Evo sold ice cream and briefly attended a Spanish language school. As a child, he regularly traveled on foot to Irani province in Cohabamba with his father and their llamas, a journey lasting up to two weeks, in order to exchange salt and potatoes for maize and coca. A big fan of soccer, at age 13 he organized a community soccer team with himself as team captain. Within two years, he was elected training coach for the whole region, and thus gained early experience in leadership. After finishing primary education, Morales attended the Agrarian Humanistic Technical Institute of Orinoca ITAHO, completing all but the final year. His parents then sent him to study for a degree in Aurora, although he did poorly academically, he finished all of his courses and exams by 1977, earning money on the side as a brick maker, day laborer, baker and a trumpet player for the Royal Imperial Band. The latter position allowed him to travel across Bolivia. At the end of his higher education he failed to collect his degree certificate. Although interested in studying journalism, he did not pursue it as a profession. Morales served his mandatory military service in the Bolivian army from 1977 to 1978. Initially signed up at the Center for Instruction of Special Troops site in Cohabamba, he was sent into the 4th Ingavi Cavalry Regiment and stationed at the army headquarters in the Bolivian capital La Paz. These two years were one of Bolivia's politically most unstable periods, with five presidents and two military coups, led by General Juan Perida and General David Padilla respectively. Under the latter's regime, Morales was stationed as a guard at the Palacio Cuemado presidential palace. Morales is ethnically Aymara, and has been widely described as Bolivia's first democratically elected president from the indigenous majority. Although Morales has sometimes been described as the first indigenous president to be democratically elected in Latin America, Benito Juare, a Mexican of the Zapotec ethnic group, was elected president of Mexico in 1858. Biographer Martin Sivak described Morales as incorruptible, charismatic, and combative, also noting that he had a friendly style and could develop a good rapport with journalists and photographers, in part because he could articulate his opinions with simplicity. 
He places a great emphasis on trust, and relies on his intuition, sometimes acting on what he considers omens in his dreams. Harton said that Morales can be a forceful leader, one who instills great respect and, sometimes, a reluctance in others to contradict him, but he has also learned to listen and learn from other people. Farthing and Cole characterized Morales as a charismatic populist of a kind common in Latin American history, who prioritized a direct relationship between the population and the leader. Morales is not married and upon becoming president selected his older sister, Esther Morales Aimer, to adopt the role of first lady. He has two children from different mothers. They are his daughter Eva Liz Morales Alvarado and son Alvaro Morales Paredes. Politician Juan del Granado is Eva Liz's godfather. Morales has commented that he is only a Roman Catholic in order to go to weddings, and when asked if he believed in God, responded that, I believe in the land. In my father and my mother. And in Coochie Coochie, sexual activity. He lives an ascetic life, with little interest in material possessions. Morales is an association football enthusiast and plays the game frequently, often with local teams. Morales's unorthodox behavior contrasts with the usual manners of dignitaries and other political leaders in Latin America. During speeches he made use of personal stories and anecdotes, and used coca as a political symbol, wearing a coca leaf garland around his neck and a hat with coca leaves in it when speaking to crowds of supporters. Following his election, he wore striped jumpers rather than the suits typically worn by politicians. It became a symbol of Morales, with copies of it selling widely in Bolivia. Unlike his ally Hugo Chavez in Venezuela, the mask does not revolve around his personality. On July 4, 2018, Morales underwent emergency surgery at a private clinic in La Paz in order to remove a tumor. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.